Hey guys, before we start, pour yourself some drink, get your snack, and let's just get right into the video. The things you'll need to draw a portrait. First, a pencil. Second, and another pencil, a mechanical one. Third, a sketchbook. Today, I want to touch some topics that every beginner artist faces with and the things that I've learned in this period of me trying to improve my drawing skills and I'm gonna tell you what helped me, what didn't help me. Hopefully it will be helpful for you too. Hopefully you will learn something from my experience. I'm also gonna be talking over the sketch that I am doing. So I want to go back to November 2020. Back then, I was really feeling bad about my art. All of it comes to me comparing myself with other artists that are, I don't know, so just ahead of me. It all made me have an art block and basically hate drawing and just stop drawing for a while. It also led me to stop posting on Instagram, on YouTube because, yeah, as I said, I was not feeling confident about my art. I was actually right about that because I wasn't drawing really well. I was just drawing like a three-year-old kid and I needed to improve. So I decided to take a break from social media, take a break from putting my art out there and really, really work on myself. Here I'm trying to roughly sketch the face the nose, the eyes, the eyebrows, the lips. The thing that really concerned me in the beginning was many artists telling that you have to know the rules in order to break the rules. Like you have to learn anatomy and anatomy for me was really this boring thing that I didn't even want to get into it. Like there are just so many content, so many information out there that it's really getting even harder to find the thing that works best for you because you see all those people giving you advice when those tips don't work for you. I don't know, at least it is for me. I when tips don't work for me, I feel like there's just something wrong with me and I'm not doing it the right way. And actually, that is the right answer. I'm not doing it the right way. Yeah, you should watch tutorials. Yeah, you should get advice, but you should also learn to put them aside, sometimes testing them out. Do they work for you or do they not work for you? For example, for me, Andrew Loomis's method, which is very famous and many people use it and it works the best for them, but it didn't work for me. I just couldn't understand it. I would find it very difficult. I even, <laughs> I was going to say published. No, I even... Um, bought a book of him but right now i realized that it was just not it was just not a method for me it was not a method for a beginner like me however there, there are methods that really work for me and those are seeing things as shapes and forms not getting caught in little details but being able to look at the big picture Asking yourself questions, that's a really great way to improve. I always ask myself, what do you really want? Do you want to be famous? Do you want the attention? Do you want to be attention ho? Do you do this for likes and subscribers? And partly yes, because, because I only have 14 subscribers, but I am talking like, and only two or three of them are into drawing but still i'm doing this like i am talking to thousands of people and i'm also doing this for myself because there are just so many things i would i would love to tell to my younger self who was feeling anxious who was feeling very unsure and i would like to go back and help 
that little girl <laughs> tell her that things are gonna be all right you don't have to do everything at once you just gotta take it step by step and you're gonna see the improvement When I was in high school, I had this girl crush and she was an artist. She was just very creative and she would draw all these beautiful sketches from her imagination and I would think of her brain as like this shiny, colorful thing. I mean, stare her while she's drawing like, wow, how are you able to do that? And when I would try to do the same, like draw the same thing that she was drawing, it, I'm telling you, it didn't look the same, it just wouldn't look the same. And I would make this excuse like, okay, she is really talented, she is such a brain and I don't have that, so I better move on with different thing and, and that just ended up, her, that just ended up making me give up on drawing and I could only start after years and years to draw again. I still don't understand, like I I was enjoying, I, I really enjoyed drawing so I still don't understand why would I give up on it for so long. Here comes the best part, drawing the eyelashes, 
putting the little details that makes the portrait even more pretty, more gorgeous. Layering with pencil again and again is just never-ending process. Oh my dear, I can't tell you how much this this need to uh, do smushing comes from inside of me, but I am pushing myself to not do it because it's just really getting harder to erase things later when you smush things. And sometimes it's not even necessary.
Oh my god, this, this actually looks really beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, I am admiring my own work. Great, girl. I love that. <laughs> and coming back to this question, what do you really want? Do you want attention like subscribers or you want to keep memories on your sketchbook? You want to express yourself? Yourself? <laughs> you want to express yourself with your art? and or you do it because you enjoy it i do it because i enjoy drawing and it's given me joy just to draw just to sit and grab a coffee grab a tea i don't drink coffee but <laughs> grab a tea and open the windows listen to birds listen to vintage songs and draw it's really enjoyable and even if you don't do it well even if you can't draw well you still gotta do that because because why not <laughs> there are many good sides of expressing yourself on a piece of paper for some people it's writing for some people it's giving a speech and for some people it is drawing yeah why why would you give up on that we're coming to the end of this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it and until next time take good care of yourself i love all of you guys so so much <laughs> i'm getting romantic again bye bye